What's up, the squad? Back with another video. I seen the title is going down. Make sure I hit the like button, subscribe button. Y'all seen the title? Y'all seen the title? Um, honestly, this is something I had to check out uh, and definitely share. Oldest ever sitting president attended the church service in Harrisburg as he attempted to salvage his re-election campaign. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say my comments. I don't know. You know, what? and I uh, sometimes, you know, I, I do have to, you know, you know, giggle a little bit, you know, laugh. He's wondering how he went from calling black people predators decades ago to pondering for their vote. Listen, my thing is. I'm going to say this, this man, and I, and I want to wait for this video because I've seen a little bit of it um, on TikTok. I know y'all going to tell me to stay off TikTok, but it's just like, are they for real? And, I, I, and I'm not talking about Joe Biden. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously talking about this church. And y'all going to know why I say that. Just give me a little second. Let's, let's, let's get back in there. That's crazy, y'all. I gotta watch for this music. I gotta watch for this music. It's, it's almost like it's almost like it's not real. The way that he's walking, he walks like, uh, and this not. I know y'all, y'all at home probably think I'm cracking joke. It's like he's he's walking like a robot. I'm not even joking. Like, watch how he walks. Just watch how he walks right here. Look at. It. My thing is though. My thing is, is how, how could you sit there and just let this man, like y'all let, like, and it's almost like to the simple fact, I didn't see that compilation of how, you know, I, I, I you know, I, I've been watching, you know, the, the not saying the R word, but the R word, I don't like speaking of that, you know, um, it's best not to speak on certain things, you know, you don't, you don't say it out loud, you know, but I seen so many compilations of that. So many compilations of how, you know, he said this about black people and said that. But then and it, it's like he, he's, he's, he's made to or something. And I can't even say that because it's like, it, I don't know, this whole thing, it just confuses me. It confuses me. And then the people around him, y'all know what y'all doing. I mean, come on. And then and then my thing is y'all see how how he moves, how he talks, how how slow he moves and how he you know can necessarily forget things and, and and this is stuff that we've seen you know what i mean and it's to the simple fact that like this is happening in front of their eyes and they still can't like like it takes it just takes that one person hey y'all this not right it's not right i don't this this not a good this not a good move for us it's not a good it's not a good look for us. It's not a good look for him. Y'all seen a debate. Y'all seen how he falls everywhere. Y'all seen how he and then I I just I don't know. And 
I want to thank uh, thank you uh, for uh, you know I said Bishop it's good to be home and please sit down Bro, other countries is laughing at us right now, bro. Y'all not seeing it? This country's literally laughing. It's, it's, it's. Hey, y'all. I, like I said, I'm not trying to make this a joke. I'm not even trying to make this fun. But it's just a simple fact. Like, do y'all see what is going on right now? Do y'all see what is going on right now? I'm sad for anybody who's ever been discouraged. I... Don't feel no waste time. He looks scared. First of all, then look at look, and then everybody's in there. Nobody like, hey y'all, this is wrong. Y'all don't think this is like abusing like the elderly or you know y'all don't like people. Somebody not sitting there like. Let us stand together oh, at, at the, the cross, cross, at the cross, cross where, where I first saw the light and, and the, the burden of, of my heart rolled away. It's almost to the fact that everything is moving, not his speed. Things are moving, not his speed. Y'all can see he's tapping his leg. First of all, he's nervous. He's, 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 and I'm, I, I I, I don't even like to say this. You know, I don't like to call people old or anything like that. But it's, you know, come on. I don't know, y'all. This is sad. It's actually sad. You know, a lot of people, you know, they make jokes. They sit here and make this tweet and make that tweet. And they say this and say that. It's actually sad. Thinking about this is actually sad. You know what I mean? I don't know. Would y'all Would y'all personally, like, think about this. Would y'all personally, if y'all, if y'all mom or dad yo yo grandparent any anybody like that would you want them to sit there like that and be would you want them to do this and do that would you want them to ride a bicycle knowing they can fall you know what i mean it's just it's little stuff like that like i, I don't know hey. it was there by faith, i see my sight and now I just don't understand it, y'all. I promise y'all I don't understand it. Like, I don't, I don't understand it. Reading some of this stuff. The call led some House Democrats to call for Joe Biden to step down as president. I mean, that's a. And once you see stuff like this, you see what's going on. You know, and you see that. I mean, uh, it's no, it's no, it's no. Do you know disrespect? It's more so of respect. You know, hey, he he's at this age. You know, and ain't even that's necessarily the age that I can say. It's just you know a. a something that's going on with them i don't know what you know what they ruling it out to be or whatever but it's, it's you know i don't want to say um you know it ain't my place to but uh, you know doctors you know saying this all timers i'm pretty sure that's what you said but you know stuff like that i mean that's that's just being real you know what i mean uh kamala harris uh, they they've been talking about Kamala Harris uh, replacing Biden, but me personally, um, regardless of whoever they replace Biden with, they take an L. I mean that's just what it Democrats is. Democrats are holding emergency talks in Washington D.C. to discuss the viability of Joe Biden's candidacy. The president attended a church service today 
as his campaign works to quell concerns he's not physically fit enough to serve another four years. Seems that sit-down interview hasn't done much. Let's go to our Washington correspondent, Annalise Nielsen, for more. Now, Annalise, Joe Biden insisting he's still staying in the race. And look, they're putting up a good fight. There's a lot of events on Joe Biden's calendar over the next few days. And this week, we also have the NATO summit in Washington, D.C. So they're hoping to ride this storm out. But this is the Sunday before another congressional week. And so we are going to have House members and senators in the Capitol. And they're going to have to answer questions when reporters ask if they think Joe Biden. But that's that's the thing, though. It's not necessarily it's not necessarily, you know, the simple fact of his age. Now I'm thinking it's it's I know it's a 90 year old that can move better than and it's it's no disrespect. I'm not, you know, it's just a simple fact that he don't have it right now. He don't have it. You know, and it's okay. You know, I feel that he his family, if they really love him, they need to take that time, you know, to, you know, you know, spend that with him. Not sitting here doing this, going to and and that day. Going to church, it ain't no issue with going to church now. I ain't saying that. But I am saying that, you know, not not going somewhere and not making a you know, full of yourself. You know, and I that's that's how I look at things. I, I if my parent, my grandparent, anybody was, you know, I'm not hey, y'all not doing that to him. No, he not going. Don't even worry about it. Nope. Oh, uh, you you trying to put him on a motor uh, he's not getting on a motorcycle. <laughs> he's not getting on a motorcycle. You wanna get on a bike? No, nah, he can't do that either. Take him off. Pogo stick off. Get him off of that. Tricycle. Get him off. I don't care if it got three wheels. Get him off. You know what I mean? It's stuff. It's stuff like that. You want him to walk up three flight? I don't care if it's four steps. No, carrying. Like it is stuff like that. Listen. Good run again. Now there's been a phone call with some senior Democrat leaders in the House of Representatives today. There's information leaking out of that meeting that at least four people on the call have said Joe Biden does need to step aside and they've voiced their support for Kamala Harris taking over. It takes a lot more, of course, to have a presidential candidate step aside at this point in the race when they're at the incumbent nonetheless. And Joe Biden has been out trying to put his case to the public. One interesting bit of information that's come out today is the first interview that was landed by a journalist from the Biden administration after Joe Biden's disastrous debate performance was with a radio station, a black owned radio station. The anchor has admitted that the White House gave the list of questions that they were allowed to ask and weren't allowed to waver off of. And the radio station in question word has now parted ways with that anchor because they said it didn't meet the standards of journalism that they hold themselves out to as an independent radio station. This shows just how tightly controlled Joe Biden is, even after that fairly uninspiring uh, sit down interview. with. But y'all can, people can see that, though. Um, it, it, people can see that it's, it's more of a, you know, I don't care what nobody say. Like in, in YouTube and, you know, uh, my views ain't been... The, I didn't see so many people share my stuff, like my stuff, and compare it to other videos that skyrocketed. And his videos is just, you know, a video that's just down because they don't want that to get. It's literally like that. It's a control thing. You know, you you sitting there and, it, and it's a control thing. You know, this is abusing like the elderly. Like I don't care what nobody say, bro. That's that is sad. That is sad. And like I said, it's nothing wrong with going to church. But when you see somebody that's moving like that, trying to be, you know, candid, like. It's, it's stuff, you know, y'all obviously stuff, see stuff that's going on, going, you know, wrong with him, you know, with his head and, and, and what's going on in his mind, you know, uh, you got him, you know, speaking, y'all know he's going to make a fool of himself. I mean, that's, I don't know. I don't know. Me personally, I, I, I just don't know why somebody would even, and this is no disrespect again, why somebody would vote for him. You know, knowing what he's going like, that's dangerous. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it to y'all. Make sure y'all comment down below. Let me know y'all thoughts and comments. I'm gonna leave it at that. Catch y'all next one.